I go to Indianapolis every year to see the Indy 500. I go there with friends to drive and race. Every year when they go there to qualify, they usually have to go as fast as they possibly can to get a front row position. They put nitro in their cars sometimes instead of the fuel that's intended to be in the cars so that their cars will go faster. And they do for five or ten laps. And then they blow all the hell. And you people, you kids, if you put nitro in your bodies in the form of narcotics so that you can do better, or so that maybe you think you can do better, you will for about five or ten years. And then you'll blow all the hell. I really don't like you, Evil. I never did. You're annoying with your dummy motorcycle doing your trick-or-treat jobs off walls. Who cares? Tonight is your night, Evil. Evil can evil in you, William Conrad. You're a heavy man, Bill. You're gonna swell up and die. Listen to me. Don't you worry, Evil. You'll never die. You had your shot at it. But I do want to say this has been a great night. Evil can evil life. You know, we've met each other. I was here when, unfortunately, at Caesar's Palace, when you hit the wall and the ambulance driver went, <laughs> he crashed. <laughs> you're a great hero, Evil. Really, you are. Either that or you're dumb. Uh, take a motorcycle and jump over 12 trucks while the Jewish promoter's gone, he'll never make it. <laughs> and the Italian's gone, eight to five, he clears the truck. <laughs> Man, you're going to die. <laughs> That's the whole thing, to have an American hero. When I was a kid, Jack Armstrong was my hero. Now we have you in your Tutti Frutti suit. <laughs> but, you know, I make jokes about you, but why? Because it takes a great deal of courage to do what you do, to jump over canyons, jump over trucks, get a job like everybody else. <laughs> Stop annoying people with your trick-or-treat jobs. <laughs> May I say to all of you, to you, Evil, thank you for making me fly up on Dean's plane. We had a pipe a cup with a rubber band on his nose. And somebody blew on us and we took off. It was a great trip, and you are one of the cheapest Italians I have ever known. Sinatra's gonna hear about this. Frank couldn't be here tonight, unfortunately, because this wasn't exciting. But, uh, unfortunately, he's in Salerno going, I did what I was told. <laughs> Notice, Senator, how I made it, Salerno, because I know you're taking notes. <laughs> to you, evil, good luck. Continue your great courage, no matter what you do. Just live, enjoy life, and pass on to all our youngsters, men and women, your great courage. I love you.